Hey guys, welcome back to another G Minio video. I'm your editor, Joe, and today we're talking Jackbox. Jackbox is not one game. In fact, it's more of a collection of games. I have all the available party packs, as well as some of the individual sequels. And to give a full review, I played all of them with a group of my friends. I really enjoyed these games. I'm a big fan of board games and video game adaptations of those style of games, such as Mario Party, Monopoly, 51 Clubhouse, and many more. I must admit that Jackbox has been really helpful for my friends and I during COVID. Not every one of my friends is a gamer, and not everyone can afford expensive consoles. Not to mention the fact that AAA titles nowadays are $60. But with Jackbox, I can stream the gameplay, and my friends can just play on their phones for free, aside from my initial cost. Due to the pandemic, I was stuck out here in California. I missed holidays, birthdays, and the isolation had been really weighing on me. But when we started playing these remotely, things improved a lot, and we've been doing it weekly as a game night for a while now. Now that's not to say that these game packs are perfect. In fact, in every game pack, there's one game that's great, two that are okay or decent, and at least one or two stinkers. Honestly, they're not awful, and I could see some of them being fun with the max amount of people, but they have two qualities that make them harder to get into than the other games. One, they're overly complicated with their rules, and two, they cater towards being in person with the group you're playing with. Some of these games you can get away with either adapting them for an online game night, or you can play them entirely remotely, but with the lesser games, they seem to be particularly focused on being in person. The mini games that stand out as really fun are ones that are a twist on a game that you're already familiar with. The ones that stood out to me were Quiplash, Trivia Murder Party, and Drawful. These games are the studio's take on games such as Cards Against Humanity, Trivia Pursuit, and Pictionary, respectively. Their use of funny prompts and fill in the blanks get people laughing and coming up with creative answers. And I think that's one of the reasons that these games in particular people are really drawn to. Some of the newer games that are also really good follow the same idea. There's a game called Split the Room, which is basically Would You Rather. There's a game called Role Models, which we had a lot of fun with, which is basically just a game version of those cheesy BuzzFeed quizzes. I can't stress enough how important the sense of humor are for these games. Like Undertale, the bad puns and cheesy dad jokes make the players feel closer together, regardless of whether or not the joke works. Because if it's funny, everybody laughs at it and grows closer together. And if it's not funny, everybody can just make fun of the joke and still grow closer together. The games mix in a healthy amount of competition, too. It has a similar function to Mario Party and Mario Kart. While the game is competitive and there is still skill involved, there does feel to be a certain amount of RNG to the results. And so nothing ever gets too competitive or friendship ending. All in all, despite some mediocre mini games, Jackbox TV Party Packs are a great addition to any in-person or online get-together. In any of the packs, you can find at least one to three games that you will return to consistently, and some others that you can experiment with. The Party Packs are well worth the price, and with options that certain games have, such as adding your own prompts, they're expandable and future-proof. Lastly, before I go, I want to talk about something that I found while making this video. It's a Jackbox clone called Use Your Words and it's actually a lot of fun. It's in a similar price range, and it's something different that involves longer rounds with more strategy. In particular, my friends and I enjoyed playing the subtitle game, where you create new subtitles for foreign films. It's a lot of fun, and if you've played Jackbox before and are looking for something a little bit different that has a similar play style, it may be a good option for you. The real value of these Jackbox games is that they can be played by anyone. They remind me of early Wii games, such as Wii Sports and Wii Play. They're easy for anyone to join and pick up, and they create a fun environment for friends and family. Overall, I have to give Jackbox an 8 out of 10. There's some amazing games, it's affordable, and the playstyle is very refreshing. However, the fact that every pack has games that you most likely won't play more than once is really unfortunate, and it drags down its score for me. I think there's room for improvement in terms of usability. For example, a great function would be to have a smaller version of the gameplay screen available on the website. It would negate the need to stream it, and it would probably give people a better experience of just picking it up and using it. That being said, I had a lot of fun with these games, and I think you could too if you haven't tried them already. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm your editor, Joe, 
gaming until you make it. Bye, guys.